All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Badash. We say, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahushai, Bashem, Rechak, Badash. And we give double honors to our apostles and our elders, <clears throat> which are the apostles elders of great millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yah, Bashem, Yahushai. 2023, which is a, a hell of a year. Things are happening left and right. Um, this war in the Middle East is brewing up. We got the war front on the Ukrainian side, and we got this um, escalating with North Korea, and then we got the situation with Taiwan, so <clears throat> it's uh, definitely definitely a lot to keep up with, but that's the beautiful part, because the Lord said that these would be the birth pains, all right, if you read Matthew's the 24th chapter, all right, and it's like you see contractions that happen closer and closer together. That's the same thing that's happening now because it's a contraction to come in. If you've ever seen a woman bear forth a child, um, the contractions will happen and they'll feel a, a pain. And then here comes another one and then it's another stabbing, shocking pain throughout the whole body until the child is, is birthed. And what's the child is the kingdom of heaven, okay? That's why the elect have been sealed through the four corners of the planet Earth. The Lord has sped up um, these, the, the times, the days are shorter. And that's evident. Esau showed you that the earth itself has been tilted and time has been uh, pretty much sped up. <clears throat> All right. And you can see days go by fast. Weeks go by fast. Um, that's the Lord speeding up this time so he could get the elect out of here and uh, start the kingdom of heaven, which will belong to you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. So this lesson has jumped in my spirit. This is um, the world passeth away. All right. The things and this is just on my mind when I woke up. Because what we're seeing now is the passing away of the world. That's why everything it says it must become, uh, it, it has to be bad before it gets, uh, becomes better. So what's happening now is that's why you see a lot of these, especially in the hip hop music. You see a lot of debauchery. You see a lot of nastiness. You see a lot of um, vile music that's coming out. And then you see a lot of this uh, alphabet groups that are, that are coming at all time high. We got this uh, transformer movement, and that's in itself is showing that uh, society is at its end when it when it concentrates on uh, that type of um, mentality. Okay, you can look it up. There's many videos the brothers have done, including that subject concerning the fall of a, a nation, and then concentrating onto that type of uh, way of life. All right, that transformerism. Okay, so let's read this, and I'm just gonna go through the precepts. We have the new stories, you know, they're out there. If you're watching and keeping up with date with things, you'll you'll clearly see what, what's going on right now in the world is a um is a leading up to something. Something's coming. It's gonna be either major attack, uh um some kind of high level terrorist attack is what they're saying. Babylon is on uh alert. So all these things are culminating and that has to be something big because these especially with Amalek is being in in the in the light and they don't like that. They they don't like that that light is just like a roach when a when a light comes on a roach scares cuz it knows it's not right, man. They if they were peace and at at, at ease, they would know they could chill out in the light, but they can't. So they have to have something come that is so big and so drastic that it's going to take the the it's going to take the light off of them. It's going to take the attention away from what they're doing in the Gaza Strip right now to having to concentrate onto that or rallying for support from the so-called Babylonians, the U.S. today. It says, this is 1 John 2 and verse 17. Let's start at 16 just to get the uh, context. This is 1 John 2 and 16. It says, for all it says for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. And that's, that's and me and, me and the brother were going into it on, uh, on, on the streets, is that this is our greatest adversary is the flesh okay our flesh is the one thing that we've always have to come in contact with that have allowed us to slip and fall down a slippery path okay so it's not us hoping to be freed from uh, babylon and parts of the earth we want to be freed from this flesh we know that that even yahweh was telling us that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak so the flesh has been our, our main <laughs> Operative, okay. The flesh is the op, <laughs> if you want to put it like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the flesh has been the op. It's been uh, against us throughout this whole time. 
when we try to do well, you try to do good. Guess what? The flesh is right there, lusting after wickedness. All right, wanting to go to the left hand side. Paul said, even Paul said, he said, there's no good thing that dwelleth within me. Okay? So, and this was Paul, a great man that was taught by Yahweh Shai himself. So the Lord even taught him, but guess what? He had that sinful flesh. So what's, what are we waiting on now is the changing of our flesh to where the law, the law can be put into our inward parts. And we can do it just like we breathe. We can do it just like we, we move our hands. It's going to be an easy thing for us to do the law. And then we're gonna. that's when we really enjoy the fruits of the Spirit because that's when the Lord's promises can come upon us in its fullness. We're not having no skirmishes, not having a break between it. You know, the Lord is, is it deals in perfection. Okay? So how much more his sons and calling us because the name Yashar Allah means the prince of the power. So if we're the prince of the power, we have to we have to taste of that perfection. It tells us in the Apocrypha that the Lord created us to be an image of his own immortality. So our actual living should be a perfect life. That's why the Lord gave us the law. He didn't give the law to these other nations. He didn't he didn't promise because that goes back in the time of Mount Sinai. That's when that first contract was given to our ancestors, which we are our forefathers coming back in the reincarnation to fulfill that promise. When he said that I will be your God and you will be my people, that was a promise. That was a contractual promise. And the Most High is not a liar. So we were always destined to be the people of Yahweh. But through our sins, through our um, displacements, we, we weren't able to fulfill that. So now we're coming to the time where the Lord is going to fulfill that part of the contract by putting it into our inward parts. It says, let's read it again. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life. And what is pride? Is ego. The pride of life. That's why you have these guys that don't want to eat. They don't want to lay down pork. They don't want to do certain things. Why is that? Because that's the pride of, of life. Okay. They have a mindset of the fleshly lust because what is the fleshly lust of eating? Especially eating defiled things, man. We all came from that life. We all came from not our ignorance, if you want to say, when we were eating all types of abominations, not knowing what, what we were doing, that we were going against the law, statutes, and commandments. But that's why the Lord breathed life into us so we can come back again. And that's why we fight the flesh. We fight to make sure we don't eat those things. We have to check on our food. We have to watch what who's what's being cooked in front of us, okay? It says, for all it says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but of this of the world. So this flesh is not of the the, the Heavenly Father can't deal with this flesh, man. This flesh is wicked. It wants to go after things that are uh, adverse. It has a fearful heart. If you have full faith, you won't have fear. You won't have that doubt. But what do we have now? We have a world where we're full of doubt and fear. A fearful mentality instead of having that that um, pure love and having the, the confidence to know that Yahweh is watching over us. Because what were we in the wilderness? We were at a fearful heart. We were telling Moses that we wanted food. You know, we, we, were, we, we were fearful. The Lord just showed us a gigantic chariot over us, but we were still crying and murmuring, man. So that's showing you even if the Lord showed magnificent wonders in the skies and in the heavens, that Jake would still be going off, man. Just like now, we look at the truth that is spread, but then Jake still wants to justify eating pork. Knowing, looking at all the great awakening, even though they'll, they'll take and say the name of the Lord and still mix that pork in there, man. They're trying to bring in, they didn't come through the straight gate. They came around the, the, the side, which is a thief, okay? You got to come through the straight gate, which is Yahweh Shai, and coming through that and trying to the best of your ability, knowing that we're in this flesh, we still have to try, though. It says, for all this in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, but of the world. The world passeth away. So this world, you see, all right, because in the time where we were set up, the, the um, Israelites in the kingdom of heaven, which you call Jerusalem, and the Solomon, that time passed away also, okay? So how much more now in the world that we see today? If the Lord passed away his own kingdom and allowed his kingdom to be broken down, <clears throat> to be ravished, the temple to be burnt and and, and, and pretty much destroyed, okay, burnt, how, how, what makes you think the Lord is going to allow this place to go on? 
in the world that you see today. That would make no sense. Just like in the time of Sodom and Gomorrah, the Lord said that that place is a, a sign to those that should after live ungodly. And this place has followed in the footsteps of Sodom and Gomorrah, if not worse. Okay? We have all types of child sacrifice by the way of Planned Parenthood, all right, by the way of different um, uh, uh, trafficking around, the, uh, around Babylon and parts of the earth. It's sickening, man. There's great wickedness in the earth, more wickedness than you can even understand, okay? We only touch the tip of the spear. There's a whole iceberg of wickedness right below the surface, man. That's why they hide themselves. They, 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 all types of killings and, and, and experiments and the list goes on and on, man. It's wearing, it's, 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 it's um, what does it say? It's, it'll wear you out, man. That's why the Lord gave us just enough to keep us in the faith and to know the things in the darkness are there. It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh are like in verse 17. It says, the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Father, of the will of Yahweh, abideth forever. And that's going to be the elect. That's going to be the ones that have taken that crown of life and have put it on their spirit, man. <laughs> Which is the law, statutes, and commandments, and the faith in Yahweh Shai, knowing that he is the son of the heavenly Father, and that he is going to come on the planet Earth, and he's going to fix things, because we need help, man. We need help. And anybody to sit there and have a big uh, a mentality like you got it, you don't got it because you're in a sinful flesh that that keeps you away from the heavenly father in the fullness. Just like Nate and I, UIC, just to bring it up, they don't they don't realize that guess what? Not using a name is separating you from the, the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because that's to, to go through the door is to have that name. That's why the Lord said, I've kept them in thy name, man. Because the Lord said, I go and I go and prepare a place for you. I, I, I pray, I pray not for the world, but I pray for the elect, man. Yahweh Shai knew because he knew we would still be in this flesh. We would still have to come. And the Lord, he prayed to the Father to, to send us help. To, and that was the comforter. Okay? Yahweh Shai is a true king of kings. The way that he kept himself and carried himself as the son of the heavenly father. And what he he, he told us, man, look, they're going to be in the world. They're going to have to deal with the flesh. They're going to have to deal with... The, the scoffing, they're going to have to take up my mantle. That's why Yahweh Shah said, well, what he does, we shall do more and greater. And it says, him that much is, is, um, much is given, much is required. So we have this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and this great truth. There's a lot of things that are required. And, and, and just like the Lord told Peter, it says, Satan desires to sift you out like wheat, man. So this world is wanting to sift us out. By, by the way of the elites, by the way of these spirits around us, man. <clears throat> they want to sift us out. They want to sift us away from the, the, the hope of the Heavenly Father that has been given through Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's why they're attacking Yahweh Shai and attacking his, his, his uh, divinity, man, and who he is. Because there is no, it says there's no name under heaven whereby men must be saved, man. That's why it says if you believe in me, if you have me, you have the Father. So that's the only way you can get to the heavenly father on the earth, period, is through Yahweh Shai. There's no other way because that's the sacrifice that atoned for the sins of Israel that you have to go through under that blood. You must be under the blood of Yahweh Shai to be cleansed because the heavenly father is not seeing you. He's seeing his son's sacrifice that you have on your spirit, man. Okay? He knows that we're off. He knows we're sinful, but he sees his son there. Okay? And it says, the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. So if you see the word passeth, the word there is par, uh, par, par, ago, par go. Strong's G, 3855, parago. Parago? Parago. And it says what? Pass by, lead to pass, lead by, to uh, uh, lead aside, mislead, to lead away. So the Lord is leading this world away. By way of this destruction, by way of the, the uh, prophecies coming to pass, man. All these things are for the world to pass away and for Yahweh Shem Yahshua to redeem the elect out of this world, man, out of this planet. That's why it says, come out of her, my people. The Lord is going to literally call the elect out of this world because it's not going to be safe on earth, man. There's destruction coming, man. Men have not seen, and when you see somebody see death, it's it's something that it stays with you. So the world has been a witness utter destruction on a level that's not been witnessed before, man. And they're going to give glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai because he's going to come on the planet Earth in a, in a gigantic 
gigantic way. And he's the earth is going to see. And then he's going to call up the elect. Just like when he led the elect and when he led the Israelites out of Egypt, everybody's seen that ship. Everybody's seen it. The, the Egyptians seen it. Pharaoh seen it, man. Pharaoh was drowned by it. The Lord blew off the, the wheels of the chariot, man. So we, we, we're we getting ready to see some angelical feats from Yahbashim Yahushua. So what, what is the world going to do against that? They can talk. Oh, that's why the Lord said he's long suffering because when he pulls out the most high's He's like they Jake want to say he's gonna stand on business, man. There ain't gonna be no, they ain't gonna stop. He said he's gonna pour it out with our mixture. There ain't gonna be no, no where the Lord disappears and and the people can be like, whoa, what was that? And go back to sinning. No, this this thing is gonna when the Lord comes on the planet Earth, it's gonna be a continual reminder that Yah Bashim Yah is in power and in control because his people are gonna be set up and they're gonna we're gonna be able to govern the planet Earth under the law, statutes, and commandments, and no one's going to be able to go off. That's why it says they're not going to learn war anymore. The Most High is not going to hide himself. We're going to be, he's going to be well known on the earth by way of his people. That's why it says, thou art my battle axe and my weapons of war. With thee, I should break in pieces the nations. So there ain't going to be no, oh, going back to sinning and everybody going back to their old ways. No, because you're going to have a perfected nation on the earth to govern and to and to pro and to make sure that that law is in is is um implicated, okay? It says pass by, lead, pass, go past, to depart. So this world is departing. So why even why even even worry about it, man? All this all paying bills, <clears throat> having no land, uh working dead end jobs, having your women rule over you, all those things are coming to an end, man. That's what's passing away cuz that's what this world and I just read in the 16th chapter that all those things are not of the Most High. They're not of the Father. They're of the, wor of the world. In Job 9 and 24, it says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces thereof. So the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. And that's what the fruits are coming. That's how we know whoever's ruling this earth. They can try to say it's not Esau. But we know it's it's got to be somebody that's wicked. Because look at the fruits that's coming out of the planet earth. You got, you got, you got enough money and resources that there could not be starvation. But... You have the mentality where they tell you that they want population control, which is wicked as hell because the Lord didn't say population control. He says, be fruitful and multiply. It says the whole earth can fit in Australia, man. A landmass of Australia that the earth can fit everybody that's on the planet earth. The mil billions, what is it, seven billion people can be put onto a, a landmass of Australia and there still be room, man. So there ain't no overpopulation. The earth is, is, is huge. There's certain places on the planet earth that hasn't even been visited by men's feet yet. Okay? They haven't even explored the oceans yet. They haven't even explored. And then that's, and when the water recedes back, guess what? There's going to be more land available in the earth because the earth is going to be made bigger. It's going to go into a, a, a state of being growth and, and being voluptuous, man. If you want to say that, that's the word that I'm using, voluptuous. The earth is going to be, is going to grow bigger and better and stronger. Okay, because one, you have the seed of the righteous in order, and then you're going to have the earth that's going back to the, the Garden of Eden. Okay. <clears throat> and the lust thereof, but he that doeth in the lust. Let's go to that word lust. Strong's G, 1939. Epithumia. Epithumia. Desire, craving, longing, desire of what is forbidden. Lust. So sin. Sin is forbidden, okay? So all you see right now is passing away. It's getting ready to be done and over with, man, okay? There's not going to be the wickedness you see on the earth and, and you Israelites. You're going to be made perfect, man. You're going to be made absolutely perfect. Nobody's going to disquiet you. No one's going to no one's gonna uh, uh, make you scared anymore. No one's going to, uh, they said that remaineth the rest for Israel, man. And I'm ready, and I know other brothers are ready, man. Okay, we're ready to taste of that. We haven't rested in generations, lifetimes, man. And especially with the sin that we have, we bur we're birthed into, into into wickedness, man, from when we're children. This even says the wicked go estranged from the womb, man. Because these Edomites, even they born, they born wicked, man. They they get out the womb, a baby on some on some wicked tips. This is Psalms 39 and verse 6. I'm gonna read through these precepts and we're gonna close on out. And it says, surely every man walketh in the vain, show, uh, walking, walketh in a vain shoe, 
Surely they are disquieted in the vain, disquieted in vain. He heapeth up riches and knoweth not who shall gather them. Because you got these elites that have reaped, that have um, put into the earth. What have they done? They've taken and um, piled up the resources of the planet earth. Gold, silver, land, okay? Different technologies that's supposed to be given to make the people's lives easier. Clean technology, reusable energy, okay? Those are things that this elites have re reaped up. That's riches. Because what can you do with unlimited power, man? Anything. That means you can run different inventions now. You can make cars run efficiently. You can have houses that are that are powered without no electricity, paying electrical bill. But now we paying this electricity for some that is, 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 is Esau probably don't even have to upkeep and it still produces power, man. <clears throat> okay. This is verse, this is Psalm 73 and 18. It says, surely thou didst set them in slippery places. And that's what you see now, especially with this flesh. This flesh always is, is, it has, is prone to slipping. Thou cast of them down into destruction. How are they brought into this desolation at, as in a moment? They are utterly consumed with terrors. As a dream when one awaketh, so, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their images. That's despise their image. And you got all these things that are set up, like especially Cesare Bogier, okay? Caesar Bogier, having that image up of, of false messiahs. All these things are, are moving ourselves, are moving away from it and bringing us into the light of Yahba Shemiah Shai, okay? This is Psalms 90 and verse 9. For all our days are passed away in thy, in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale, a tale that is told, okay? It says, for our days are passed away in thy wrath. And the time is coming, there's, there's going to be a judgment. That's why it says the judge, the day of the Lord, man, is doom and gloom. Is gloom. What, is that, what is that day for you? These people don't really want the day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is going to be absolutely fearful, man. These missiles going off, it's going to, that's not going to be a light thing, man. That's why it says prepare your hearts. Get yourself ready. Do what you have to do. Tend to yourself. See? It says, they shall perish. This is Psalms 102 and verse 26. They shall perish, but thou shalt endure. Yea, all of them shall wax old like a garment, as a vesture shall uh, thou change them, and they shall be changed. And we're waiting for that true change, which is the changing of our bodies. <clears throat> and once that change happens, we're not going to go back, man. Okay? This is Psalms 143 and verse 10. Teach me to do thy will. And that's what we've been taught now by the way of our apostles and our elders and men around the four corners of the planet Earth. That's 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 pushing in the right, right vibration. It says, teach me to do thy will for thou art my power. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. See? verse. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Okay? That's in what's one of the main will. It says to glorify his son. Revelation the fifth chapter shows you that. That the Havashai is, is worthy of praise and honor. So that's what we're giving him praise and honor in his name. And he said, He that declareth me to men, I should declare it to my father. So that's what we want to do. We want to praise him because that's our guideline and our, our measuring stick. Okay? It says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, let's go to verse uh, Matthew 21 and 31. It says, whether of them, it says, whether of them twain did the w will of the father, they say unto him, the first, Yahweh Shah saith unto them, verily, I say unto you that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of Yahweh before you. And that's going into what? Because we were all sinners. We all had that mentality of wickedness on us. But guess what? We're gonna we're gonna taste because you had Matthew with Matthew was a tax collector, okay? But he converted himself and believed on Yahweh Shai. That's why you're gonna have some harlots that make it, man. Before these supposed women that are <clears throat> acting like they're 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 so pure and and, and 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 innocent, okay? This is Mark three and thirty five. For what it says, for whosoever shall do the will of Yahweh, the same is my brother and my sister and mother. We're family under the under the law, statutes, and commandments. Yah Bashim Yahshai and the faith that we have in Him, because that goes into the first fruits. Okay, let's go here. Let's sit on that. 
This is Psalms 10 and 25. Is the whirlwind passive, so is the wicked no more. But the righteous is an everlasting foundation. So the that's a that's a hell of a sit down. The elect is the foundation of the kingdom. Okay, <clears throat> Yahweh Shah was the cornerstone. Okay, so we can tie in with him being the cornerstone, and then the elect coming behind him as the rest of the foundation of the of the building of the kingdom of heaven. Because guess what? They're gonna be built off the children of the elect. They're gonna be super powered. Okay, and then they're gonna continue to grow, to grow, to grow. Until guess what? All of Israel shall be saved and pure, man. Okay, no more, no more wicked flesh. But the first fruits are gonna chase. Of, they're gonna taste of that. Those bodies first. They're gonna have the ability to to be in that the law to be put into their inward parts and receive that that salvation and that glory, man. Okay, and the wicked shall be no more. The wicked of Jake, two thirds, <clears throat> two thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and then you gonna have the um, then you have the elect. That's going to build that kingdom up and they're going to tend to the planet earth also. Okay. This is John 14 and four. Uh, this is John four and 14. It says, but whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Okay. And that's what we're seeing now. The Lord is changing us by giving us this truth, giving us the hope and to and the trust in him. That's the main thing I've been thinking recently, man. Trust the heavenly father. He got it. There's universes he creates. There's um, uh, the, the earth hangeth on nothing, man. It's heavy object. And you can't even weigh the earth, man. If you got one stone that weighs whatever, how much does the whole earth weigh? And it's hanging on nothing and spinning on nothing. So the Lord is, 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 is magnificent, powerful, man. And we need to trust on that, okay? So Lord, when this is an edifying lesson, I'm going to leave it here. And the title of this lesson is the earth, it, it says the earth. The wickedness fadeth away, something on those lines. I, I, I'll see how the spirit titles it. But uh, Lord willing, set a final lesson and to know. Get, get, we're getting ready to be delivered, man. The elect, Lord willing, we be a part of that glorious number is about to be delivered. And the Lord is about to put judgment on the planet Earth. So with that, I say, call her lawyer, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechach, Until next time, I say, Shalom, and more not, and never keep faith.